Today it's the Naked Skin Lab, and to help me talk about three common skin problems, Dr. Sandra Lee, Hi. welcome back. Thank you. Thanks and we have three very nice clients. We're going to start with Kathy first. And what's your yes. problem, Kathy? What's bothering you about your skin? I have some dark spots on my face. So common. So, so what, what do you have? How this do we is the bread it? and butter of dermatology, really. This is liquid nitrogen. It is very cold. I'll show you. I can actually show against you because you're so nice and dark. Okay. Very cold. And we apply it to the area. And what it does, it induces frost white locally in the area. And so we cause the area to kind of get a little puffy and scale up and fall off. So I'm going to have you turn your head. Okay. And this is going to, what I tell people is this is going to sting a little. In fact, it's so cold, it just stings. Okay? Cold spray. And I'm also very careful to not be very aggressive with this. You can see it like induces a little frostbite there and it kind of fades away. You don't want to be really aggressive. This is not something that anyone can do because um, if I treat you too aggressively, you, you can be left with a permanent lighter than skin color mark. And I don't want her to you know, be throwing and eggs in my house. you use the liquid nitrogen on other skin problems as oh, well, yeah. right? This is very common. It's basically mm -hmm. freezing it off. Yes, but there's other, other ways to treat um, brown spots. I mean, I think we have a picture of, of it, okay. right? And this is a person who um, had her brown spots treated in her office, and you can see you can get fantastic results. We can use lasers, we can use li um, chemical peels, but this is certainly one of the things that we use very commonly. Quick, easy. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Next. And Leanne, how are you? I'm doing well. And Thank we're going to talk about a different problem, milial yeah. cysts. Yes. Leanne here has over 100 milia, and they really are localized around her cheeks and around her eyes, which is very common. And these are caused because the dead skin surface, the dead skin on the surface of her skin is actually not sloughing off, and it's getting trapped. And so it's clogging her pores and causing these bumps. So what we do, do in our office is we use, we usually use a lancet or a very pointed blade, and we nick the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. and then we express them with a comedone extractor, which is what I'm going to do right now. Now, she's numbed a little bit in these areas, but if you can see I'm going to just nick the surface of this right there. Mm -hmm. A little nick. Come back a little bit towards me. Good. Another little nick here. So common, like you said, yes. around the eyelids and the, and the cheeks for some mm -hmm. reason, we're more likely to trap that dead skin right. below and form that cyst. Exactly. And so um, what I'll do now is use this comedone extractor, and you can kind of see them squeeze out. See how they kind of push out right there? And that's just keratin you're getting out mm -hmm. of there, right? Yep. And so we also have to tell her how to prevent these from coming back again. And so one of the main things we use is a topical retinoid, which is a prescription. But what it will do is it actually encourages normal cell turnover. So you won't have these dead cells sitting on the surface of the skin. They'll slough off, and you will prevent you from getting new ones. And, and probably along with that, you want to do some gentle abrasion around yes, your eyelids and Yes, very gentle Something because... Something like a buff puff, that kind of thing. Another point you want to think about is what kind of uh, moisturizer you're putting on your face. You want to avoid creams. Creams are oil-based, and they tend to clog your pores more. Lotions are liquid-based, and so they're lighter, they're smoother, they're going to have a less tendency to clog your pores. Okay. Okay. Great Thank tips. Thank you. And last but not least, yes. Natalie, this how is are Natalie. you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Good. I and think she's last on purpose because we're trying to get her very nervous and embarrassed so that we can see her condition that she has. You know what, I think the camera is doing it a little <laughs> bit for us. So, so you are turning a little red, right? Yeah. So you just... Something that you do. So it's not that she this has This is a, a rosacea normal condition. Or Just like you may tan very easily, she may fl blush very easily or flush very easily. So I want to show you on this color wheel. So on a color wheel, artists know that op opposing colors on the color wheel cancel each other out. So, for example, blue cancels out orange, purple ca cancels out yellow, and green cancels out red. And I'm going to show you with this, which is really kind of cool, because if I mix these two colors together, green and red, it actually turns into this nice tan color, which is a neutralized color, which will look much better on our skin than red or green would. So if you actually take a moisturizer like this, this is really nice because it's not a makeup, it's a moisturizer, and it has sunscreen in it. So if we actually apply this to her face, we're going to see that she's going to have, oh, would you like a little I'm going to do a little on her neck here. Okay, that's good. <laughs> do a little on her face here. We're gonna, we might need to use a little extra for you. But we'll see that it can really help to cancel out some of that redness. You know what? And we brought some before and after photos. They're going to show you what you can look yeah. forward to after this treatment. As you can see, as you work this green moisturizer in, it does lighten that red hue. Thank you very Thank much, you. all of you.